As your loved one or your client asked about someone who died years ago and you have no idea how to respond to that, or is your loved one or your client asking to go home constantly even though they haven't lived there in years and years and years and the guilt is just eating you up because you're not sure, should I lie to them or should I tell them the truth? If that's you, then this video will help you tremendously. Because in this video, we are going to go over the time that you should lie and the time that you shouldn't. So if you are able to use one of the things I say in this video and get a win with it, let us know in the comments. And while you're at it, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell so that you never miss a video ever again. So with all that being said, let's hop right in. So when we are all very young, probably young kids, we're all taught that it is wrong to lie and that you should always tell the truth. So when you're in a situation where it's impossible to tell them the truth without upsetting them or them just straight not believing you, it can feel like being put between a rock and a hard place. But the truth is in order to be able to take in the truth, you also need to be able to take in new information. And when you have dementia, you lose the ability to be able to do that. So what ends up happening is you form reality based off of the memories and the information that you still do have. I call that their reality. And so I would think about this less in terms of are you telling the truth or lying and more in terms of how you are adjusting to their reality, how you are adjusting reality to them. And I have a four point checklist that will help you be able to determine how you're going to be able to do that. Because there are some situations where it's better to tell them what's going on in your reality. And there are some situations where it's not. So the four point checklist is what answer would make the most sense in their reality? What is or isn't kind to say to them? Is the answer you give them going to bring them peace in that moment? And, and four, what are the, your person's needs in that current moment? So with all this in mind, I'm going to share, again, two examples of a time where you should tell them your reality and when you shouldn't. So our first example is mom is insisting that you tell her the truth about if her husband is dead. Now you know that her husband has been dead for at least five years or so, but you have heard that if you tell somebody with dementia about a loved one who has passed, that they will go into a grief cycle. So what should you do? Again, let's go through the checklist. All right, number one, would the answer make sense in her reality? So since she is explicitly asking, chances are she has already suspected this may be the case. So it would make sense in her reality that he may have passed. Two, is this a kind thing to tell her? Again, since she is explicitly asking her, giving her a straight answer would be the kinder thing to do. Third, is this answer gonna bring her peace? Her reaction to the answer will give you that definitive answer for that moment and in the future. But again, because she is directly asking that, having an answer will bring her peace. And number four, how is she in the moment? Again, since she asked you directly, you will get to see how she reacts. Is she going to go through the grieving process again or will she be relieved to know the truth? Again, she is your best guide in this moment. So her reaction in that moment will tell you, should you back off from this or should you redirect her? So to sum it up in this situation, if someone directly asked me if their loved one has passed, I would give them a straight answer. Because honestly, that's what they're asking me for. So in our second example, Barbara is insisting that she has to go home to her small children. Now, Barbara is 94, her children are in their 70s, but at the same point in time, in her reality, the kids are five and seven. You know this because you've asked her how old the kids are and all that good stuff. Now. Again, let's go through the checklist to be able to determine, should we tell Barbara that she in fact lives in a nursing home and she's 94 and that the kids are in their 70s? Let's look. So to Barbara, she isn't 94 like she is in your reality. She's 30 and her kids are four and five. So needless to say, your reality is not her reality. So that's one point against telling her the truth because it's not gonna make sense to her. To telling her the truth isn't the kind thing to do because she's distressed about not being able to get to her kids. And calming her anxiety is going to be the kinder thing to do. 
third, telling her something about the kids that makes sense in her reality will bring her peace in that moment. A good example of something you can say that would bring her peace is saying, your husband's watching the kids while you go to the doctor. We're in a nursing facility, it looks kind of medical, so it makes sense within her current reality. And four, you can pretty quickly see that she reacts badly when you try to minimize or tell her that she doesn't have kids. Uh, so giving her that explanation that makes sense in her reality will work best for her in that moment. She hasn't directly asked us for the truth. She is insisting upon her own reality. So again, the best thing to do is exist in her reality. So there you have it. Should you lie to your person with dementia? Well, it's not that simple. I say you need to adjust reality to them. You need to determine if the truth is going to make sense to them, bring them peace, be kind, and ultimately be beneficial to them in the moment. Because that's all the stuff that really matters. So again, if you found this helpful and you get a win with this, let us know in the comments. Tell us your win. And if you want a bigger group of people to celebrate with, then we have a free Facebook group that you can absolutely join in the description box below. And finally, if you are open to this we have something called a caregivers win within this facebook group where we take on one challenge each and every month on a different challenging behavior so again thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one